Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is I, LPB Precious. It is Linda at you again this morning. I'm here on this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday morning. You ready to take my fur baby to get groomed today? Because it is past due. Just decided to come up here just to say a little few words this morning to get my day started. Look, girl, why are you whimpering so bad? Okay, we gotta get going. Go back where that's sitting now. Go sit down. Sit, little girl. Uh uh, you can't get in my lap while I'm driving. Mm -mm. Get over there. Stay over there. Stay, 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 stay. Well, y'all can see her before and after. That's what she looking like now. A hot mess. A hot, hot mess. And I'll let y'all see her when she comes back. Sit, Coco. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, I am, uh, it's a Monday morning, and I'm getting my day started this morning. Get ready to drop her off to get groomed. When I come back home, uh, I guess I'll, it'll be time to start making my strawberry jam. Get those strawberries out of the refrigerator and into a jar. That is my goal for today. I think it's going to be a beautiful day today. The temperatures already is 63 degrees, and it's uh, 845, so... I'm thinking the day is going to be at least in the 80s today or high 70s. But anywho, just want to come up here and say a few things, open up my video. Oh, and I got, no, I'm not having been monetized, but I'm now a YouTube partner. They approved me for that. So now I'm just waiting on my next step. And I thank you guys one more time. Once again, I cannot thank you enough for subscribing to my channel for watching my videos and now um watch some of the ads because i think if you start watching some of the ads that's how i become monetized but anywho i'm just gonna keep on this journey doing what i was doing doing how i started out and see where this journey take me um okay Oh, jeez. Okay, y'all. I don't know what these people's doing this morning. Coco, sit down, baby. She always, uh-uh, uh-uh, no. She always uh, get a little anxious when she get ready to go get groomed. I guess she know where she's going already. Most of the time when she get in the truck, she's going to the doctor. She's going to, um... To the corner. So she knows where she's going one to, to one or the other. And I don't think she liked neither one of them. But anyhow, it is a wonderful, beautiful day outside, like I was saying. And yeah, I got an email from YouTube this morning saying that I am now a partner. So I have to read all this. Um, the laws, I guess, and stuff. I read it, but do I understand it? There, no, I don't understand all that stuff. But anyway, I'll just keep it moving. I guess it's not time for me to be to add on my uh, all my information in. But I was trying to read all some of the stuff that they that was in the email they sent me. And there's a whole lot of uh, legal stuff. I think yeah, a lot of legal stuff that I don't quite understand. But um, I'll go and read over it. At least I read over it. If something come up, uh, maybe it'll come back to my my memory. Uh, yeah. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Headed to the groomers for my little fur baby here, Coco, to get her washed and shaved and bathed and all that other stuff. Yep. All right then. Well, I, I guess I'll come back on. Uh, a little bit later doing my next step so i will see you guys then all right you guys i'm back Ooh, with my head chopped off okay i am back i'm getting ready to start uh with the strawberry jam i have these strawberries here which i have to clean and wash and clean Take the caps off and cut them up. 
I got my jars of which I've already started to wash these in hot with soapy water. Again, I'm going to put them in the pot. Wait a minute. And then I'm going to put, oh, I have mercy. I don't want my head chopped off. Anyhow, I'm beginning to, um, like I said, I'm getting ready to start my strawberry jam. I'm in the process of washing these jars and get ready to put this on the stove and turn the pot on so I can um, have some hot water to put the jars in once I finish washing them. Okay, um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to wash my jars, get them in the pot so they can boil and sanitize or whatever. And then I'm going to come back and do the strawberries. So, um, yeah. I'm going to come back and do the strawberries. And then I'll be uh, ready to make the jam. Ooh, this water's hot, burning my hand. Ooh, make you want to dance. Woo! What is H O ha ha? All right, y'all. I'm gonna turn you off so I have so much to edit. Whew. This water is hot. All right, I'll be back when I finish with, with these jars. Once I get them in the pot to boil. Okay, I'm just going to probably just sit this right here. I just finished washing this knife to really rinse it off again. All right, you guys, what did I even do? I think I put it back up. Let's see. Jars. Put these aside for right now. I may not need those. Probably don't even need all the jars that I have. All right, let me get these things on um, the caps off of the strawberries. Cut them up as I go. I already washed them really good. So this is how you cut these, just cut them up. Take the stems off of them. Oh, 
Ooh, that was a juicy one right there. Take part of that out for me. I know when I make, like in the past when I made all my jams, I know now on YouTube, I see where um, when they make the jams, the strawberry jam, peach jams. Let me put this camera up some. I don't know why my head cut off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but anyway, as I was saying, I noticed on the YouTube, when I watch the YouTube, YouTube canning channels, um, they water bath uh, their jams and jellies, well, their jams. But on the Sure gel sure pack, it does not say to uh, water bath your jams. But my grandma was the one who taught me how to make it. And she never, um, she never, um, Hot water bath her stuff. She only uh, fixed it like the, well, like the package said. I don't think she read the package. But anyway, that's what she been doing, I guess, all her life. Make it the way she make her jam. So I'm not going to do mine. I'm going to just keep doing mine the way that we always did it. And that's going by the sure gel pack. Only difference this time, I think I'm gonna do with my um, jam, I am gonna add the lemon juice this time. Usually, I never put lemon juice in mine. But today, I'm gonna to put the lemon juice. That'll be the only thing, only difference I'm doing. These strawberries shouldn't take long to cook down because they're already really soft. And this is almost that. All done with that. Ooh, this dress is getting hung. Unhang me. Okay. This is my good dish rack. This is the one I've been using. So wipe the countertop off of that. Taste this. Mm. Those jars are, the water's coming to a boil. Okay, now let me get my stuff together. I need um, a plate, I need a spoon. I'm going to turn this dishwasher on. And this cook down. Do I want to mash it? I don't think I have to mash it down. Let me get one of these. Um, I think I'm going to get one of these for There. I'm going to use, um, this time I'm going to use the low sugar, less sugar, um, sugar jam. Let me get my bowls and stuff out so I can measure out my sugar. That's what I got to get. I got to get me some more glass bowls. 
Don't have enough of those. Got but one glass bowl. I'm gonna do away with all those plastic bowls. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Do away with all those plastic bowls and get all glass. Let this dry out a minute, and I'll come back to this. I'm gonna measure out the sugar. Turn that down just a little bit. Should have put a little bit of water in here. Got a hatchet plugged in. He's a leaf in there. Okay, I'm going to let that cook down a little bit, and then I'll be back with you guys. It looks like these recipes has changed on these, um, uh, for this. For the, um, the less sugar one. 
because I don't remember all those 16 cups. Let me look at this other one. I remember four cups for um, the regular one. But this got 16. No, six, let me see. It has 12 cups of um, strawberries. Remove and discard strawberry stems and crush. Two cups of strawberry, then four cups of sugar. Ingredients. Okay. Well, I don't know if I got four cups or not. I think this is enough. Huh? I have some more strawberries, but I already added the um I have already added shoot to it so I can use those. Even though it was just a sprinkle of sugar, it wasn't much. Okay, so that's that. Got those mashed up enough. Might have to go get some more strawberry because this don't look like it's going to be six cups. I forgot to record her when I picked her up from the groomer, but I had picked her up from the groomer. Coco, this is what she looks like now compared to what she was first. There she is right there, my little fur baby. She got all groomed. She's looking better. All right. Okay, and there she is, Coco-Lina. Okay, now I'm back, y'all. I have measured out my my um five cups of sugar i'm going exactly by this uh sure jail recipe i don't like it y'all can see my face with the top of my head lord have mercy anyway i have measured out the four cups of sugar right here and i'm going to mix the um put this pack in this fruit pack in a sure jail in this bowl here this measuring cup and it says add one fourth cup of sugar to the pectin and add it to the pot. So this is a one fourth cup, so I'm gonna add one fourth cup of this sugar right here that I already measured out. Put it into the pectin. And I assume you're gonna stir it up. Stir it up a little bit. This is totally different from the way we used to make it back in the day. So I've already measured out the uh, six cup of fruit, which are in the pot right here. Measure those six cups out, and then I have the four cups of sugar measured out right there. So I got all that. Okay, now as I was getting ready to um stirred it up, which I stirred it, I mixed the pectin and the sugar, and the camera fell over, and uh, I spilled half of that, so I had to redo that again, so, um, now what I'm getting ready to do is, take these jars out of this pot, they're hot, I hope I get enough jars, I should have get more, Let's just take these caps on here. Ain't grab nothing. Come on now. I did how many jars I got. I don't think I got enough of these big jars. Oh, oh, I probably should wash some more. Why the rest of the jars? I didn't do it too. What in the world am I thinking? I 
think I need a. I know I need one of the pint jars. Fill these little jelly jars. I was thinking I would get these jars. I think I would do the um, pint jars instead of the jelly jars. Okay. Now we got this. So let's turn this kind of down. I may have to add more water in there. But this is going, I'm going to pour in this um, pectin. Let me see, what did I do with those other two jars? Right here. I'm going to wash those out. They have to do some more. Wash these three more jars out to make sure I have enough. So I'll it calls for me to pour the pectin in here. So I'm going to stir this in. I stir it in, bring it to a full rolling boil, and then add the rest of the sugar. Turn that on up so it'll come to a boil. supposed to be come to a rolling ball that does not stop boiling when you stir it. Then add the sugar, the remaining of the sugar, and then let it come back to another full rolling ball. so maybe the air conditioner won't affect it. I'm trying to get the air conditioner uh, adjusted so it won't cool my jaws down too fast and affect them ceiling. Okay, they still need to boil a little bit more. I'm gonna get these jars out of here, the remaining of the jars. Let's see what this is right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this rack in there. Use the same water. I think this is about it right here. Yep, this is about it. Just, let's add the sugar now. So roll them for another stop. These are the four cups of sugar that I'm adding. It calls for six cups of strawberries and four cups of sugar. Now I've got to bring this back up to a full rolling boil. Let's see how these are. 
that right there to get this later into the cleaning jar. come to a boil, I got to let it boil for one minute. Okay, this is it. It's a simple jam to make by this uh, Shure Jam recipe. So this is the recipe I went by. Now I have to uh, uh, put it in the jars after I skim some of the foam off of it. And uh, put it in the jars and put it in the uh, hot water bath for 10 minutes because I have the uh, pint jars. When it says, I have to read that again. Let's see. Yeah, gel in five minutes of processed jams for 10 minutes. Skimming some of the foam off. I did not put the, it said you can put um, butter or margarine in here. I think it said butter. If you wanted to keep some of the foam down, but I didn't put, I didn't add the margarine or butter, whatever, because I don't know, just not like what I'm used to doing, but I guess everything is new now. Or we should have been doing it anyway, but the older people back in the day didn't do it that way, so. And I just uh, used to do it like my grandma told me. You have a lot of foam up on it. measuring cup to do that. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. I push this back so y'all can see me putting it in there. Yeah, 
You know what? Y'all, I'm just as backwards. Mm -mm. I put it in there anyway. My grandma used to cook hers more than one minute because um, she wanted to make sure it uh, set. So she used to cook it more than one minute, but this is what this recipe calling for. So I'm going to do it for the one minute like the uh, package said. Let's just put this down. I'm gonna pour just pour the rest of this in the jar. There you go. These are brand new lids. Just putting the lids on, y'all, and the tops. To this, so let me turn this wood on. Four pint jar, which is good. Maybe one more. Good enough. It says to cover the top of the um, jars about an inch or two. So that's what I'm trying to do now. about an inch over. So I'm going to cover this and let this come to a bowl. Cover this side, let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then I'm going to put the timer on for 10 minutes. And once that I uh, get to that point, I will be back. So let me clean up some of this junk here that I got, all this mess I made. And I'll be back with you guys shortly. boiling. I'll begin to boil. Not quite boiling like I wanted to boil, but it's boiling. So I set my timer. They set the stock timer for 10 minutes. And let that just um, boil hard for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and take it out. And turn it off, rather. 
Let it set for about probably another 10 minutes before I take it out of the pot. All right, I'll be back when I get to that point. Begin to take the jars out of the water. I let them turn the water off and let them sit for about five minutes. And now I'm taking them out of the pot. Okay. Get this water off the top here. <gasps> Oops, I don't touch that. The seal. Get some of the water off of it. Anyway, that is it. That is it. Oh no. It's okay. Anyway, that's it, and I'm done with it. I'm gonna let it see if it um gonna see if the seal start popping. That'll be it. If the seals don't pop, uh oh, this one right there already popped. Two pops. They popping mighty fast. I just took them out of the water. But anyway, that is it. That is it. Look like a could have got some more of that foam off there, but oh, they're popping like crazy. That's it. And I hear the clock clock noise, so we're good to go. All right, y'all. That is it for the jam today. I have cooked all the jam that I'm going to cook for today. Just those four um, pint jars, all I did, which is enough for now, because I already got some in there from last year. But anyway, I'm going to probably end this video now. And if I don't end the video, I'll be see you when I come back. If you subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe.